Pyro Simulator, Gold Medal, Fire Truck Time Challenge. Right after finishing the Vintage Car Challenge, I decided to give this another try. I used the same type of strategy um, as that video, but first I'm just going to clean the windshield. Uh, I didn't need any glass cleaner on any of the vehicle, so I avoided that. I switched immediately uh, to the windshield wipers and used the rotating nozzle. I knew um, those had been the biggest pain in my ass, so uh, I devoted extra time to that. I then just cleaned the surface dirt off the rest of the front of the vehicle. Not perfectly, just getting the majority of surface dirt. I'm also hitting the... Uh, side mirrors from this angle at the same time. I decided to go ahead and clean all four headlights or, or you know, all four lights on each side up front to make sure I didn't forget those at the end. I think that's one of the big things is making sure you remember what you've cleaned and what you haven't cleaned and knowing the parts of all these vehicles uh, was definitely key to uh, understanding if I had a chance to succeed or not. So this was really stupid of me. I, I should have stayed on the bottom and continued cleaning the entire uh, bottom part of the truck first, in my opinion, because then when you're up top around the ladder, uh, you'll finish cleaning the entire truck. Uh, but I decided I was going to go backwards here and it actually worked out. So I just um, stuck with this. So I'm going to clean the entire uh, top light and the two fog lights up front. I'm also going to hit the top of the uh, front bumper with some of the surface dirt. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, a lot of this would have had to been cleaned if, uh, if I had started on the bottom and worked my way up, but it would have popped a little, you know, while I was up here. So I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning the surface dirt underneath these ladders, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I didn't have to come back up and try getting the surface dirt off later. And that when I was on the, uh, on the ground that it would pop, that the whole truck was clean, the whole body of the truck, I should say. So it won't be perfect, and obviously these rusty ladders are going to have to be dealt with with metal cleaner later. Uh, but uh, once I switched to metal cleaner, I really didn't want to have to uh, switch back if it could be helped. So that was pretty good. Now I've decided, since I had done the front, I was just going to hop down and start uh, working my way around uh, from one side around the back uh, and then up the other side so you'll notice I, I hit that front turn signal indicator uh, while I'm getting the surface dirt I'm going to make sure I get the back side of the mirror or the front side of the mirror to where that's clean I'm going to make sure that the uh, all four tires are completely clean I am not going to leave any of those because I seem to always miss one um, when I get to the end and uh, it just there isn't enough time to run back around the vehicle looking at those so I make sure that all the windows are clean um, all the surface dirt is off everything the two side mirrors uh, any turn signal indicators and the tires are all clean. I prefer not washing the door handles until they come clean, even though you probably could with some of them with this nozzle, but I find that it often confuses me later uh, to know if I need to clean one or not when I have the metal cleaner. So if I can avoid it, I try to not hit those that much. So I'm coming back because I, I did not see this tire pop and there it goes. So now I felt you know, it was uh, time well spent to go back and make sure I didn't forget that tire. Um, the uh, steps here are uh, pretty damn hard to clean without metal cleaner completely. So I'm just trying to get as much surface dirt as I can. This hose uh, on the back end 
can often be my nemesis. So I spend a little extra time. I don't get it this time. I don't get it completely clean as I often can uh, by jumping around on it. So I, I cut my losses since I had spent more time uh, going back for that tire. And I decide I'll come back and hit it with some metal cleaner and see if that will uh, pop it faster. So same process over here. I'm going to hit those two uh, turn signal indicators or warning lights up top. I'm going to get the surface dirt off this back section. I'm going to make sure this uh, tire is completely clean, except for the hubcap, of course. Um, and then uh, just continue to work my way up front, taking the surface dirt off the truck, the ladders, the uh, instrument panel, and uh, same process over here as on the other side. Make sure that all the windows are clean. Uh, they come clean super easy with just this yellow nozzle. Make sure that I get that uh, side mirror again. The door actually came clean, I notice now. I don't remember seeing that when I was uh, doing this. And that door I did remember seeing pop. Uh, I got that turn signal indicator. So... I was feeling pretty good. I took a second here uh, just to uh, give myself a moment. And now it's time to switch to the metal cleaner. I don't think I switched back at all. Once I went to the metal cleaner, I think I was good to go. So the handles now are going to be the big ones. I'm going to try not to miss any handles on my way around. And obviously you need to get all the hubcaps. Um, the one I often miss is the very top of the rim right there. Um, hopefully the audio is lining up pretty good with the video. I apologize if it's not. But um, yeah, the top of those hubcaps can sometimes get me. Um, I didn't do a very good job on the sides of the ladder up there, but it really doesn't matter. You'll hit those from the top better anyway. Um, you have to hit these from about three angles and maybe even jump up sometimes to get the thing to pop. Uh, that one came pretty quick for me. Uh, so working my way, now I switched and started going backwards. Uh, I, for some reason, like to save the front for the last I think maybe because it takes the most metal cleaner and I like to know, you know, I like to be conservative with the metal cleaner on the back um, and sides. So I remembered I had to hit that with the metal cleaner. It came clean instantly. I think the steps took me about an average amount of time um, and metal cleaner. Sometimes they, uh, I can just miss sections like that, a huge section. And I didn't even remember to jump up until the last second here when I saw that step. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I totally missed that with the uh, other nozzle. So just coming back for the handles here. And then once again, the next hubcap. Hit that ladder a lot better from that angle. Uh, didn't do too good on this instrument panel, if I remember right. Um, even though I thought I was doing good, it, it took a while for this one to pop. There it goes. I know at some point I uh, just started going crazy. I think on the ladder up top I just go crazy because I had so much metal cleaner left. Um, I did pretty bad on, on some section up here. Maybe it was this door. I don't remember. Somewhere I... I I felt I wasted way too much time. I think it was that door. So some of these things you may clean faster. Some of them I may have gotten faster. Um, I know the bumper I, I missed and had to come back for a little section of it. Uh, this bumper can be really hard to clean because the dirt seems to uh, count for a lot more up in that front uh, see, I jumped up thinking I was done with the bumper, and then I realized, no, I'm still not done with it. Right up at the very front, that dirt seems to count for a lot of uh, the percent, or, or 
you have to hit so much of the dirt on that front bumper to get it to come clean, unlike other aspects of the vehicle. I realized I had forgotten that one handle that I got distracted and went down and did the hubcap. And so um, I got lucky here because I didn't... Um, didn't remember not getting that handle. Normally, I'm pretty good about that. So going up on top with only half a minute, I, I didn't think I was going to make it. I thought this was going to be another close call like I had just had the time before this. But I just went nuts. You can see having uh, over a whole liter, it was super easy. It only took, what was that, you know, 15, 20 seconds to get that ladder done. So hopefully this might help someone it might not but the, for me if you just keep shaving a little off your time and you know take a break and come back you'll get there i hope good luck everyone these were a pain in my ass